that when it's all said and done, they will still be left counting as the top of the Pops. However, a tough task they do face tonight is uh, what um, caused them a lot of uh, mayhem. Talking about formidable home grounds, I can comfortably tell you that there are only two teams in the start times Uganda Premier League at the moment. Which coincidentally, is the most formidable team on the road this season. Only two losses away from home, but they've garnered 18 out of 30. Probably the team that you would least want to face off away from their place. Yeah, that's true. And, but of course, it's that mistake. And Norman Namanya from a distance. Oh, Tommy Kara, what did you just do there? That was a scorcher. Wow, oh, wow. From a distance, Norman Namanya has made it a habit on these grounds to pull an arcing shot to the back of the net and Abe Chikomeko Bogere knows that his team were caught um, cold. It, it would suffice and it's important to have that kind of attitude of ensuring that at least you get something from the game. But for a team that is um, trying to force uh, the issue and trying to get the championship, you also have got to take some risks. As a shot comes in from distance there and once again... Balls drop and um, what that does is that uh, it allows uh, URA to close in. And I think they need to react better when it gets uh, to those area balls. Mwere, goalkeeper to the ground and an equalizer by Amos Kiria. The plague of the goalkeeper's eccentricism continues for URA. Different day, different goalkeeper, same catastrophes. As Bull FC pick one back, Roger Zometwa leaves his gaffer quite astounded as to what exactly he was doing there well the truth is that uh, it's uh, one of those uh, big errors again in in the same way i'm sure that uh, david Oboa will be wondering what is wrong with his goalkeepers you would have expected that rogers omedua comes out interestingly he's actually seated in that midfield but yeah. on the right end on the right end. just with wamana as Luwama is instead the one that drops back into the center back with hood bleach yeah seems to have uh, decided to go with uh, just the three defenders who do Moliki on the left side and uh, if they keep doing that if it had it not been for the push of Semuju on uh, Nicolas Murray then that should have been um, opportunity for a second goal a referee calls for time on the first half and... Stan Big Uganda Cup they probably will want um, to make sure that they make amends for that a referee gets us underway chance here Amisi loses possession Picked up here by Bull FC. Oh, looked a sloppy pass, but it meets its target. Amos Kiria spreading it out to the wing. A chance for a shot. And a good hold from Slick Rogers Amedua. Gets the ball. And Abati back on the touchline. As a through pass is exquisitely squeezed in. But that's a heavy touch from Morit. A prem to rescue the situation. Crosses the ball in. It was a free header. Ibrahim Morit. Well, must. Wamana. Can get forward here for Norman Namanya. Namanya in possession, taking on a throng of Bull FC players with a couple of stepovers exciting the fans. And now Bua Paul gets into full flight. Saidi Cheyune still tips it forward. Bagisa with a shot. Cleared away. Oof. Batative approach to the game from Hood Mulichi, but somehow. Uganda Revenue Authority Football Club come off with the ball. Nice turn here from Andabati. But I think the adrenaline going to his head there. Now he's back on that favored wing position that he tends to prefer. As the cross comes in, wayward. And picked up well. Chance, player goes to the ground. Shot comes in, blocked away. Lorest is it just shot over the bar. Jerome Kiria, well, could have really gotten quite the uproar. Out. Looking for safety there, hoofing the ball clear. But they could turn that into a moment of precision for themselves if Ogweti has the presence of mind to square the ball! Tazicha! One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper! It's supposed to be a corner kick, I thought. Sibling rivalry as Express Football Club takes on Sports Club Villa live here on Sanyuka Prime. But a chance here for Pool FC. Ogweti! Down to the final minute of the game. Crossed in, brushing header there from Ivan Ahimbi. Mentarily repelled. Amisi gets the return ball, looking for a quick pass, looking for a twist and a turn. And that's the foul. That foul spells the close to the game.